The Whiskey Brothers Podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problem. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast starts now. Welcome to the 753rd episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast. Uh, we are in our last week before we gear up, and uh, or at least myself and Sam Damaris gear up to go to Europe. You're going to... You're probably not going to hear any episodes, actually, from over there. But we have some spectacular guests, some good pre-recorded episodes, some people you have and haven't heard from before. All of that's coming up in the next month on this podcast. I am your host, Slade Ham, Trey Tutson to my right, the right Reverend Robert L. Mungle. Yeah. We are, we are joined by Radu Bondar for the first time on the podcast. Oh, hey. I don't know why it always takes us so long. You haven't been find. on here before? No. Uh, you never been on here before? Rob, look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing. He legitimately does not know. I don't fucking know. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were on this before. Different. That's probably side. No. With, Maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ah, we got a brown one. Uh, cheers <laughs> to... Uh, to you guys, it Let's is good to be boys. back. You really not brown though, huh? You like no. uh, you like white Mexican. OG white. You are you OG are Romanian. White. Yeah, like you know what Africans are to black people. Oh man, that is what I am to white. What the nemesis? <laughs> 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 Ouch, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, you didn't even do mix it with the Coca Cola. Oh, I'm so proud of you growing up. Yeah. Oh, Trey, we, so I so Rod, Rod, you're from Romania. Oh, We're going to talk about that. Uh, I have some questions. Oh yeah, but. You're from Romania? <laughs> yes. Oh, God, Rob. Uh, so, Who did we have on the show that looks like him? <laughs> Zai, who's from another small-ass country. Yeah. Zai from Tanzania. Before, before, before we went on air, you and Trey were briefly talking, and I always forget sometimes it's cool for me to have someone who knows Trey prior to being here because you don't have to act all shocked for the first yeah, 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah. It's, uh, not a, it's not a, oh, my God, he's so crazy. <laughs> and then, you know, let it yeah, you down. get it. You have also gone places with Trey, right? A little yeah. bit. We haven't traveled as much as I want to, but yeah, we've legit. I've like I've been there for like fifteen to twenty of Trey's first experiences with something. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which which I feel might be as simple as stuff like. Uh, it could be like his first time at a Pizza Hut Taco Bell. <laughs> and he'll have he'll have like strong objections, harsh opinions, questions. He d- he does it about everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just w- we went we w- we went this past weekend to El Paso, which I think is the furthest he's ever been away. Yeah, yeah. as far as I ever been away west. Which is, but, but I leave Thursday. He goes, I've been to Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You're going. You're going to California uh, on Thursday. Yeah. But, but you'd never really. No, nah, not like that. It was so beautiful just seeing desert. We're I had never seen that before. We're, we're about <laughs> six hours west of Houston at some point, <laughs> and you just hear. Wow, and I turn quickly like something. Did I miss a deer? What some? And he's just. He goes, those rocks. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was nice. And, yeah, and was, are sure. those mountains? I was. Like, they're. They're. Not yet. This yeah. is why people have children to see the world through their eyes. Yes, yes, that's what it felt like. It was. Yeah. Why is the sky blue? It yeah. was very. And I don't have the answer. God loves the infantry. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> I know a bunch of dumbass army shit. Because I got a lot of white army buddies. But you said, why is the sky blue? That's their slogan. Why is the sky blue? Because God loves the infantry. Now, go do shit that we don't know why we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> that's Let's go get misled. Is that, wait, that's not. <laughs> yeah, that's a real slogan. Man, look at I'm sick of all this Googling every week. <laughs> I've, I've heard some. Uh, some I no, no, don't heard, doubt heard it. some dumb army shit like that. But usually it's like it's like it pretends like it has no logic, but it sort of does. Yeah. Like a lot of guys, when they, whenever you be told something unreasonable, like, yeah, man, just go dig 40 holes. They'd be like, oh, too easy. You know what I mean? <laughs> of course. Way too easy, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'll get that done quick. I'm going to need more work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. Did you actually go to the Taco Bell Pizza Hut with him? No. no we no. didn't go there. But I, I, I'm also rich is the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. I, because yeah. I, want, I want to create. <laughs> right, that's, that's beneath yeah, it. The oh, Taco wow, Bell man. Pizza Hut slash KFC because they're all the same company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. All you can eat buffet. Wow. That if ever America cried out for something, hey, that's this a, fat fucking nation. All three of those. All three of those. Same buffet. The same buffet. Now hold on. Now, now you're adding because you also get all the sides yeah, from oh KFC. Oh wait a second. You'd have side village. <laughs> you get, <laughs> yeah. You got the side mashed potatoes <laughs> and the fucking all this other shit. Oh, all the but you'd have those spicy potato wedges. Yes. But you'd also. Oh my god. And then you got fucking Pizza Hut pizza. 
and fucking Taco Bell shit. So here's what this could be. This You could pitch this as an alternative retirement home <laughs> where you're like, don't go to these regular homes where you're going to live for like 15 years. Yeah. Knock out two good ones. And <laughs> we expediate this shit, but it's amazing every right? single second. Right? Oh, right? my God. If you could do it with a with a uh, part. What are the what's that new uh, chalupa they got with the. Oh, I'm not. Oh, oh the, the cheese of the chil- the cheese of the chalupa. Oh, yeah. no, they made a taco know. shell out of cheese. Yes, we live in a remarkable time. Two <laughs> years, <laughs> one year. It's really one year. Yeah. It's re- it's a really expensive year, <laughs> but it's one year, and it'll only cost you fifty eight dollars a month. And <laughs> tell me, your grandkids won't come every day. Yeah. They'll be all up every in that day. bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Then you get Baskin Robbins on board. Have them buy that. Now you got a dessert section. Oh, don't go crazy. I oh, think we got enough here with the three. We already got the motherfucking uh, cinnamon, the twist. Oh, you do? You got, got the Taco, Taco Bell yeah. swinging some dessert, I'm sure. Yeah. Does KFC have I'm a dessert at all? Hell no. They probably I just sell know. those generic cookies yeah, to they everybody have, Yeah, they've got those fucking cakes. White guilt. Yeah, they have those. <laughs> that's the dessert. <laughs> oh, how perfect is and this? That's you an all-you-can-eat buffet of KFC, Pizza Hut, and Taco Bell. To someone you love. You could not keep people out. Approaching the end of their lives. Yeah, you couldn't keep people out because they'd be stacked on top of each other from heart attacks. Bring, yeah. them, bring them for a tour of Side Village. <laughs> <laughs> and you just call it, you call it, they're, they're, this is why the world hates us. No, their, their tagline <laughs> is, now this is hospice. <laughs> <laughs> now this is hospice. <laughs> <laughs> Live menos. <It's> <laughs> <laughs> now then. What's that Side Village? I have <laughs> Side Village. You know what's funny? Someone told me one time that uh, in Las Vegas, there's a Taco Bell somewhere where you can like get Baja Blast with vodka mixed in or something already. An adult Taco Bell? You heard about this? Oh, yeah. Whenever that person told me that, I was like, oh, you're never going to be a millionaire. (laughs) (laughs) If If you know about regional... Yeah, Taco Bell, Mountain Dew, <laughs> interesting, you know, details. Like, yeah. You're never gonna have it. <laughs> it's just how it goes. They have, well, they have the stupid. It's all neon lit up Vegas Taco yeah. Bell on the strip. Yeah, and they, you get married there. I think it's one of those fucking things. You know, I like the giant Hooters Casino. That's fun. Yeah, really? What the fuck? It's the yeah, I, I like it because you're driving by it and you're like, well, is that? Wait a second. <laughs> Did they? It's how? a huge yeah. Hooters, giant Hooters building. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh-huh. I don't know if it was the last time you guys went to Vegas. Yeah. But I, haven't, I haven't been. It's probably been a year and a, two years. It used to be another casino, and the Hooters bought it. Yes, and they just yeah, slapped yeah. The it's out there. Wait, there's... so didn't wasn't Bobby Slayton in residency there for a minute? He may have been. It's, it's out there. has been there for a couple club. of years, there's right? A comedy yeah, yeah. Club. Been okay. there. It's out there near Circus Circus. I mean, it's like at the yeah, fucked yeah, up yeah, yeah, part yeah, yeah. That was Slayton right. was there. Yeah, it's perfect. There, there's yeah. a comedy club in it. There is a comedy club now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the Hooters, they won't book me, but it's there. It's there. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah. like you have misogynistic material, right? Yeah. <laughs> <We have. laughs> Vegas, Vegas is a different world. It doesn't. It's a. It's its own rules. Yeah. Well, it really I mean, it's is. just no. It's different when you're out there and you know lived out there. I lived out there for a little bit, mm-hmm. and it's just different. I don't know how I you know. live. Every city, like no. Cleveland, you like no. Cleveland different. Like it ain't like never no. like Cleveland. No, it's Vegas, not. Vegas is different the way Louisiana is different from the other forty nine. Yeah, states. it's like culturally different. It's not just that like the city is like oh they yes. do they put their parking weird. You're like you know here this thing that feels illegal everywhere else is yeah. cherished. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's something wrong with the social mores of these people. You know what's crazy? Because all their the little wedding chapels are considered church, there's more churches in Vegas than any uh, per capita than any other city in America. No, I love I love a little weird little facts like that. The the most sinful place. Yeah. And now it's difficult. You can't just go get married. Now you have to wait 24 hours. Yep. It's like buying, oh, you it's can't like buying imp- a handgun. You can't impulse you know? buy? No. You have to wait 24, God. but you it, can get it. it impulse used to be, marriages are the best. It used to be you could get a marriage license 24 hours a day. You'd right. The courthouse was up. Now they close at like midnight, w- open again like at 4. That's that's what morning. Vegas did. Yeah. That, I mean, that's that's the, what you're known for. Well, yeah, but now you have to, like there's a waiting point. Oh, you got to cool mean, it. You got to mean it. Yeah. I want to combine that. It's a Brady that. bill for fucking marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I want to combine that with other cultures' views on marriage. We should have... A, like an instantaneous arranged marriage. <laughs> <laughs> you get drunk, her family gets drunk. <laughs> and we just kind of figure it out. That's funny. <laughs> it's, why am I married? <laughs> <laughs> well, son. <laughs> so daddy had too many vodkas. <laughs> it's a, can, you, can you keep that amount of, uh, that no, amount no, of dowry get, on hand? Just get 10 families and you do one of those like Wheel of Fortune things. <laughs> <laughs> Janice and Steve. I think they should have a draft. I think yeah. arranged marriages should have a draft. 
You can with trade the first selection. Yes. <laughs> you can, <laughs> Absolutely. You can give away other family members. No, I'm getting this bitch. Absolutely. Look at her. You get your younger three brothers. <laughs> I've seen her 40 and her three point stand. And I, I get it. <laughs> yes. My younger three brothers get traded up and I get an Upton. That's how this works. <laughs> how do you qualify for that shit? <laughs> to be in an arranged there, marriage. There's a combine. They don't have a show where they just show bad ones. Bad arranged marriages? Yeah, like here's a lady that's getting the, her ass here's kicked the, every here's day. Here's the weird fucked up part about arranged marriage. Uh-huh. <laughs> Narrow it down. It has exactly the same rates of success at every other <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that insane? Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of reported marital rape, which sucks. That's the hard, not I, funny I part. I guess, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That marital but rape is an opinion. Aside from that, literally every culture that has mm -hmm. arranged marriage arranged is the marriage. same, 50%, slightly above 50. Well, the 50% thing is for, of poor people also, by the way. That's another, that's the meanest misnomer of all time. So, so the, fi I know it's- Above I, working class people, it's like 75%. I was going to say, it, well, no, 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 no. It's 75% stay together. Yeah, 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 yeah. The richer know, you yeah. are, the more you're like, I'm keeping this value. Yeah, less people. giving this away. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll get a mistress. I don't need to fucking right. leave you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't get to get the law involved. Yeah. <laughs> but arranged marriage people, they report the same. They're like, you know what? We weren't in love the first five years, and then all the teamwork and camaraderie and all this, and we, we came in love and all these different, you know. You hear, yeah, I've, I feel like I've heard stories like that of people just going, well, we weren't. It's just a chemical in your brain. Of course you can manipulate it. You know what I mean? Right. Especially if, like, your family's housing situation is on the line. All right. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah, yeah. do this. Nobody, nobody wants to hear that. Everybody wants True. to believe that love is completely I love this five-bedroom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, love a lot of things. You know, people who are against the arranged marriages are just saying, you know what? The way you make it work is you find somebody within a 20-minute drive of you. Yeah. <laughs> and then, it's yeah, you make it work. I mean, if that, that's how I swear, because if, if there was a girl I wanted it, who's in the woodlands, Hey man, it it's work. not even. It's I'm not, not even driving up there. No. To go to dinner. It's no worlds. <laughs> no, you. Yeah. Why the fuck I'm gonna drive 45 minutes to go on a date? My yeah. bumble radius is three miles. Yeah. It's, a <laughs> it's, it's, it's fucking dumpsters. It's, just, <laughs> it's so well. It's just. It's funny. Like it, you look for different. If you I was know how single, much pussy I passed on the way to get here. <laughs> that's fucking four mi it's was forty miles. If I was single right now, I would never even think of geographic. I'd be like, from here to Louisiana, I'm fucking. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I gotta no, get it done. That's a. That's just such a. Nah, you're married now, I am, so yeah. you're you're you don't have to deal with any of this. Who's the furthest you ever drove for some pussy, Radu? It's a disrespectfully far. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw Can you, you or on. something post about this the other day. Can you I, beat Boston? Yeah, I, Boston's where I went. <laughs> I was probably, it's, <laughs> that girl I used to know was a whore. He'd probably the same one. Yeah. What's, the, what's the train they call it? The Martha? No, not the Martha. The Charlie? The, the little Charlie? The train in Boston? What's that shit called? I don't know. The they, Whore Express? They, make their, they have funny names for their... Um, what? I, I've, I've actually never been to... I've spent so little time in the Northeast. It's it's hilarious. It's the oldest part of the country, and it's wrong. Every part of it's wrong. That's yeah, the people. What's amazing to me is it's ridiculously racist. One night I drove like from Houston to... What's the the gambling Lake Charles? Lake Charles, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. like the distance I'll go in. Like a like that was I was nineteen. I was like, I got to do this, you know. Right. That's like but a, like yeah, with like planning and like shit. Yeah, went this one girl, dude. I was going to Boston. It was like February, and it was that blizzard that almost mm -hmm. knocked out all of Boston. And I was like, I'm still going. I'll go. I'll get the tickets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then she started being like, We don't have to. Yet. And I was like, What? The, what are you? What's happening right now? I'm. Sh she would get stuck with you for four days. No, yeah. <laughs> that's a valid point. That is. It's a. I've gone. I've gone to other countries with people, but not like to meet someone no, 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 no. there. That, yeah, that's that's real vagrancy when you're like, I'm going there for yeah. a pussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're gonna find it. Gotta get my passport. I'm <laughs> Matt Morris. <laughs> we got to take a quick break. Uh, we're coming right back at Radu Bondar. If you want to follow him on social, uh, all the rest of us collectively at Praise Whiskey. We have the Drunk Doll Hotline too. What is it, Trey? Three two three five one zero. Shit. It's perfect. I love it. Three two three five one zero seven four six eight. We're coming right back. We're broadcasting from the vaultsoflore.com studio. Do it. Vaultsoflore.com. Vault. Come on, Trey. Vault. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Are you new to the Whiskey Brothers? Then check out the legendary first four hundred episodes. Access the archives at praisewhiskey.com. 
Welcome back to the Whiskey Brothers Podcast. We're joined by Radu Bondar for the first time on the podcast. We have some whiskey. Uh, this was Jeremy Harris. Uh, some of you people have gotten, I haven't even gone back through the Drunk Doll Hotline, but some messages came in this last week. Some of you want to send bottles. Uh, send us an email or a Facebook post. Uh, I'll get you an address to send some stuff. Uh, we'll figure it out for November. This, though, uh, Jeremy Harris, thank you very much for the bottle of Eagle Rare. We yeah. toast to you. Where, Rob? From the vaults of lore. From the vaults of lore.com. <laughs> Studios. Yeah. I, <laughs> Oh, yeah, we? yeah. I was trying to talk and swallow. Did you get some Radu? Yeah, I did. I, yeah, yeah. I he's he's, he's sipping oh, over yeah. there. He's Re- sipping yeah. shit like an elitist. Respectfully, uh, not like an but elitist, like someone who appreciates you. it. I love how you guys what? post right over the soundboard every time. Oh, I don't even. I'm, that's that's how little awareness I have. <laughs> what does this cost? Money? I'll so, buy for <laughs> you. How much is this worth? I a understand banana? it is a difference, but he does shit like an elitist. Okay, I, you know I don't. I don't. He don't. He's do from. Shit. He's one from. He's from, a fucking asshole. You don't know this motherfucker like I do. <laughs> he's from one of the finest families in all of Romania. <laughs> he was born in Romania, but he was raised like a fucking white man. Like he was like, raised. Wait, like, wait, there's the white people. No, nah, he. Nah. I mean, gypsies, but why? Not over here. He came over here. You know what I mean? He's, Bondar's he's, actually Romanian for Halliburton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, so you, uh, you're you're sitting on the half of the table that has been to Romania. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, yeah. You ain't it's never true. been. You, I actually, no, he's gone. Not only Where did I go, guys? I've been to West a Romanian City. hospital. What's it? We flew into uh, Budapest. We flew in. That's in Hungary. Uh, yeah, yeah, we flew <laughs> into Bucharest. Uh, Starving whites. <laughs> no, we flew into Bucharest, Starving and then I've been whites. down uh, to. Uh, I got to look at the names of the cities. Uh, Carav. Vel, maybe I got. I can look. I can sure. show you. I, I can show you on a map. Caravana. Uh, well, no. You're, well, you. What do you know? Why uh, would you? Yeah. You're like those, those guys who sell sell cars and vending machines. I watched Indiana <laughs> Jones. I know this shit. <laughs> uh, I was in a Romanian hospital when I cracked my head open. Damn I had fine. to go get a. I had to go get a cat scan. Ugh. And uh, that's the only thing I let them do. They tried. They actually had a cat sniff you. That, it would have been. It would have been. It would have been. Like, we just boiled the cat. He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most oh so so it's it's it, but it's a it's a modern-ish country right it is people call it third world but it really is like right in between second and third yeah it's just like like everything is fine in it but the corruption is fucked it every different way you know what i mean is it just like we have great education we have natural resource mostly when a country's fucked you're like oh here's why with Romania, you're like are these people all garbage <laughs> <laughs> is everyone here a thief now, how, how much of your family is still there all of it besides 87%. yeah yeah besides like one cousin who lives in Katy and uh, a couple relatives in Canada besides that like and we're like Hispanic families huge I have like 85 I find new relatives every time I go back there oh, oh God. Some cousin I was friends with your dad when oh, are you taking me Dude, as soon as I can go, I haven't been because because my old grandma man, trying to die on me. Supposed to go, man. How, how long? How uh, how much time did you spend there as a child? Do you not very well? So, so I you're did, basically American. I was three when I moved, but yeah. then my parents did some bullshit. I like people say I was three when I moved. Like you did that shit. They were yeah. like I was <laughs> three when I. <laughs> but my parents they they fucked around and they sent me back every year for two months the whole summer. Wait, they hey they sent you oh. <laughs> I was like every year for two months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two months every year. Yeah, I'm, That's I'm speaking poorly. <laughs> yeah, he's speaking like a Romanian. A languages. Like that. <laughs> you just learned the language. But they were you. genius. They would have a parental off season. They would just. Uh, they'd be like, two all right, months yeah. of gone. Sometimes three months. Sometimes <laughs> real fucked up shit. Like third world summer camp. Yeah, dude. Just, and it and was summer as, camp is already as they were getting like because they were one of the like rags to riches stories about America, which you don't necessarily hear about a lot anymore. But like my dad really did like boss hog the shit out of this country. Like, <laughs> but then he would send me back to where I had like a job when I was eight, <laughs> and he didn't understand why I fucking hated him. <laughs> didn't get it? You had to work in a sweatshop. Yeah. Yeah. This sucks. Ah. Oh. We make here. Uh, this is where we make the blue jean. I started, y'all, I started drinking and smoking cigarettes at ten years old, <laughs> and my face looks like it. <laughs> well, he, he, he's sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> what y'all make out there? Like, what's y'all shit? What's y'all claim to fame, Romania? We don't really have like one claim to fame. We're kind of dispersed all over the place. Aviation is a big one. No, you guys got Dracula. Sure. <laughs> Dracula's a big one. That's nah, an English man's bro, claim. No, bro. <laughs> That's what? old Bram Stoker fucking around. Y'all shit. Flight is American. Next. 
<laughs> here's how funny here's we how, got flight on lock. Here's how stupid Americans are. Right, Fli- Americans figured out flight. The right brothers figured out flight, and they didn't figure out landing. <laughs> I don't know if you look, Google how flight worked for the first forty years. Landing it sucked. <laughs> yes. It was a sled. Yes, the wheels they flew on it right, and then the wheels f- came off because they were they were on the ground, and then you landed on this like sled, two like metal iron fucking wrought iron bars, and mm-hmm. all landing sucked. <laughs> And then one Romanian guy was like, what if we just fold the wheel into the shit? So, <laughs> and we oh named God. every airport in the country after this. T- <laughs> oh my God. His name is Henry Kwanda. You can see his shit. The and Smithsonian he figured Museum. out how to land. He, he's the guy who inv- Romanians invented landing. He figured out how to land. land. Yeah. That's just like an We were like, okay, go up there. Go up there. Like, come down. <laughs> that is just like somebody. It was basically how 9-11 came about. Exactly. <laughs> That's what he was doing. He was training terrorists. <laughs> go fly, but yeah. come down. No, no, not so much. Whatever. Yeah. No. Yeah. Weird. You know what comes down? Freedom. <laughs> That's what comes down. Tower two. Tower two comes down. That's Very out. easy. <laughs> I'm sorry, too soon. Huh? <laughs> yeah. It's fucking October, Rob. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I, wasn't one of the Wright brothers killed? In the, it was like the first plane accident. During 9-11? Yeah. Well, wow, they lived to be old. <laughs> that was like the, the first plane accident was one of the Wright brothers. 217, I, Orville. I'm sure this is white facts. I'm fucking it up. But I think one of them hit the other one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you what did happen. In, uh, I forget like, what year. Over what, here. Like, oh, shit. He, uh, I forget what year it was. Fuck. Sorry, Orville. <laughs> in Pennsylvania, there were two cars registered in the entire state, and yeah. they got in a wreck. Did they really? Completely hit one another. That's funny. Only two cars. Oh, wow. Yeah. One of the Wright brothers died of in a plane crash? No, it, no it, the first one, when they finally got it off. I think I think one of them died. I don't know. No, know there was a press conference. And everything. Pictures yeah, the other one said it, it was very sad, but we did it. Yeah. No, I've been to the Smithsonian. They would have showed that. When they, they got the plane in there. They, yeah. the, there's one dude yeah. laying on it, and that's it. He, yeah, assume. one, one. The other one's dead. <laughs> he, no, he's back there with the remote <laughs> control or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. What's the place called? Kitty Hawk. Kitty Hawk. Kitty Hawk, yeah. yeah. Is that the only it, thing? It, that's, okay. You know, everybody. Nobody ever says they faked the fucking Orville Wright flight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, faked the moon flight. Where are those moon conspiracy theories? Yeah, where's the, where's the Orville Wright conspiracy? You Orville. know there was because the claim yeah. to the Orville Wright flight was not. It's not a lie. It's like he was in flight for forty three seconds. seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very believable. But you aren't any Wright brother. F- you you know. know there were. By the time yeah. that telegram made its way west, <laughs> there were only six people. Wait there. Wait a minute! Like, you're trying to tell me that a human being was aloft <laughs> like a bird? <laughs> I don't buy it. <laughs> this is this is a scam brought to you by the U.S. government trying to tell us that we can fly. They must have done this on this sound stage where those uh, talkies are filmed. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> the same stage where Charlie Chaplin was. They got the people who built that wall that looked like it fell over that man. Yeah. <laughs> they, got brothers, Cha- they hired Charlie Chaplin. Brothers in flight. Stop. <laughs> Jewish conspiracy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. The Jews have taken flight. Can you imagine being on deep conspiracy telegram back in the day? That's what I- <laughs> Where you're like, dog, globalism is some. <laughs> 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 like, dog, we're talking through globalism right now. This is, what it is. This is globalism. I heard Paul Revere's a lizard man. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> That's how he knew the British. He could see their heat. Like predator. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he wrote at night. <laughs> oh, say, God. I don't like uh, conspiracy people anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't like white conspiracy people. Black conspiracy people <laughs> are my favorite people alive. Next to black people watching magic tricks. That shit's pretty, yeah, but that's that's overplayed because a lot of times black people are like, I, I know how this works sometimes, but with conspiracy theory, it'll be like, dude, you'll be talking to like a fucking professor and they'll be just on there, just perfectly, everything's correct, and then you're like, oh, something about the moon landing, whatever, like, like bro, we got to talk, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I've heard. <laughs> yeah, uh, but... <laughs> Trey's like, they're king. Yeah. Not to appeal to uh, authority over I mean, here. But. I mean, it's like that, but it ain't moon landing. It's... It's, it's shit like uh, no. it's like Kim Trails, like shit like that. Yeah. They believe it. You said Kim Trails like it's a person. You said Kim Trails like it's that's, a rapper. Like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you get the new Kim Trails album. How am I supposed to say it? I don't know how to say it. Kim Trails. Yeah, it's Kim Trails. It's one word basically. Uh, yeah, one word, but also the emphasis. I on. said that. No, you said Kim Trails. You said, yeah. <laughs> Kim Trails. Yeah. yeah. Kim Trails. I've been Kim fucking trails. with that. Kim, that trails Kim Trails. Sounds like she was in Sex in the City. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Tell it's us about Kim Trail. It ain't even. The, it's just like I, I, that's why I go to my cousin's barbershop because we could just talk like regular old school barbershop uh-huh. talk. The last dude I was with, it was getting annoying. I was like, "Hey, bro, I don't think they're trying to kill all black people like this." <laughs> like 
this is a very huge way. They mean they gonna kill other white people if they doing it with Kim Trails. Like this, this is silly. <laughs> you remember? Shout out to my boy Eric Green. You remember yeah. his the gay caves? Oh, bro, this dude was tri- That was wild. That took gay. a wild turn. Gay caves. <laughs> we in the car talking and and uh, I mentioned uh, I don't even know what I was talking about, but he just went off. He was like, "Yeah, bro, this gay shit." That ain't part of our culture, bro. You go back to them caves, you don't see no gay caves. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you the, talking about? The thesis, e? like, thesis of the argument was yeah, that, you uh, remember. Uh, that, that white people during the times of bringing black people over in slavery, that's yes. when they taught them the gay ways. Um, <laughs> because there's no gayness in Africa before that. Yeah. Oh, it was all boat taught. It was all boat taught. <laughs> it's all it's like boat we're learning. At, we're at sea. Boat taught you know, is it was hilarious. <laughs> boat taught. <laughs> Now, we're going to get to America in about three weeks. (laughs) While we're on the way, I'm going to teach you about... I get to watch this orientation video. That is hilarious. Here's how you really get rid of scurvy. (laughs) That is wild as shit. You get to go back. Where you learned that at? On the boat, bro, when I was on the boat. And Trey... Uh, was trying to do I think you were trying to make a podcast at the I was time just, or videos yeah, I was or video something and, and Trey was like I want to be very not just respectful he's like I really want to hear out what people are trying to tell me on this but then he goes dog you had me till the gay caves <laughs> <laughs> gay caves <laughs> But you know what? They were fabulous. (laughs) (laughs) Those caves. A bedazzled cave. They were really more B and B's. They weren't really people that lived there. Some caveman turning deer blood fuchsia. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) What are you at? Hibiscus? How do you get that color? (laughs) Santa man. You didn't live there. It was a bread and and breakfast. That's a scary (laughs) version of black to get to. Like I I don't ever want to be that. Well, I'm just I'm just got conspiracies like that. I'd rather have the shit I got. Like, I don't believe in fucking, you know, high altitude boats. illness. Right. Or yeah. boats. Yeah. yeah. Right? So you can't be boat taught, according to how I think. So, <laughs> but, but I don't, you don't believe in boats or teaching. But that shit where you're just like, they all out to get us. That shit, you can't have a conversation with anybody. It sucks because I get it. I understand. The, it's like white people are giving you a lot of reason to feel like they're out to yeah. get you. But also it sucks because you're like, well, you have no leverage now. To talk like because reality is different than maybe what you feel, well, but yeah. I also can't tell you not to feel the way you feel because damn, we've been <laughs> so much. Because yeah. yeah. there's a bunch of shit you're not even thinking about yet that yeah. we have done, and I don't want to have they that conversation. Sort of, they, they injected syphilis every time. Yeah, every time, every time no. I'll, I'll be like, look, yeah. the medical. They go Tuskegee. Like, yeah. I'm like okay, I can't. I, I yeah. understand. I can't, I can't, I can't defend say, yeah, that. Yeah. Can't. <laughs> but also, you should take some Advil. You know what I mean? You should get that. You should get that looked at. Yeah, I was talking. Some yeah. this black girl about uh, she was anti vax, yeah, it doesn't vaccinate her kids. I was like, Oh, why did you go Tuskegee? I was like, <laughs> yeah, Well, okay, yeah, but you know, I, they gave me the vaccines, yeah. so I mean, you can that's have like the ones a, that's like if that I, I never, took. It's like yep. if I never showered because of the holocaust, <laughs> 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 ain't catching me sleeping. <laughs> it's like, Dude, you smell like shit, right? <laughs> Yeah, but you know what I don't smell like? Death. 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 <laughs> no, you kind of do. God damn. That's fucked. Huh? All right, Rob, we're going to pull out some Vaults Allure stuff for the next episode. Uh, I'm going to put your reading skills oh. to the test because right. uh, you are the voice on the show. You can read. That's yeah. <laughs> I'm as shocked as you. Uh, Trey, I've got, we, I want to talk some more, too, about some of your first experiences in El Paso. So that's going to happen Friday. Radu, you're sticking around uh, for the uh, next episode. Mm. So we will have you as well. Uh, you can support anything we're doing. It's very easy. You can go to the Patreon page and uh, do that. We're, we're on all the social shit. It's so annoying to keep pressing all that. But the Vault Allure thing, uh, Rob, do, have you read any of it yet? Oh, yeah, I'm about halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter three, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I really like the, the new stuff. That's <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to put It took you. a turn around page 40. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We'll see. Who, who's your favorite character so far? Though? Um, the, the main one. <laughs> the guy who does the, you know, all the stuff. There's it, it's Vault. The, that's yeah. his favorite character. <laughs> The way, yeah, the way they work combinations like, to open the doors is like really... Like the love interest. Yeah. <laughs> they got a real triangle happening. That's... Oh, uh, sure. And, uh, on, on Trey's situation there, we might have some... Up- God, there's so much to get to. These episodes go so fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. At Radu Bondar, uh, B-O-N... R-A-D-U-B-O-N-D-A-R. I think is how you spell all of that. Uh, thanks for sitting in. Uh, thanks to Jeremy Is your middle Harris name Hussein? For- Mihai. <laughs> 
<laughs> Praisewhiskey.com, the website. Just go yes. there. Look yes, us up. Yes, I am. <laughs> Are you? Hi. No, oh. hell no. This motherfucker don't do shit. <laughs> we'll see you soon. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.